syllabus, you have the agenda for the week, and all, for all students, a syllabus quiz is due um, tomorrow. I saw a parent ask too, like, gosh, every day um, they have to do something. In the end, this for, for kids too, it's super simple. Like, we're, we just want them to prove they're exercising every day. And we all, as parents and teachers, want them to exercise every day. So we're, we're they do have a job to do every day, but the, the technology part is a very small portion. It's just showing us that they did get exercise and fresh air. Um, so, you know, it's important to understand too that, you know, your kids were getting a certain level of exercise during the day when they were at Paul Revere and they were walking from class to class. You've been on the campus. Most of you, you know, it's 26 acres. It's huge. If you have music and then you have to get up in six minutes up to PE, sometimes they have to run. They don't have time to, you know, if they have a little girlfriend or boyfriend, you know, who knows or whatever, you know, they're doing their friends. They have to tell them, hey, see you later. I got to get to class. Otherwise, I'm going to be late. So, you know, the issue and the exercise is big. They're not getting the basic level of exercise that they got. Forget about practice. Forget about all that other stuff. If you track the number of steps that a kid's getting during the normal day, they're not even close. I mean, try to get 10,000 steps that they would normally get walking around campus and being at lunch with their friends. Try to get that walk in your dog. It's almost impossible. So the level of fitness already is, is low. And with a, a lowered level of fitness, without a doubt, you have some other things that are going on that I'm sure you're aware of. You know, you know feeling, feeling worse about yourself, depression, anxiety, all of those things happen because you, your body's not getting what it needs. It wasn't meant to stay indoors and breathe or cycle there the whole time. But let's move on. Um, Ms. Walker's right. Sometimes I just get talking and well, you know, who knows what could happen. But anyway, <laughs> let's, let's move on to the flex fit assignment. This is a different kind of assignment. And the reason it's called a flex fit assignment, and hopefully you guys can see my screen. Um, I'm going to share this again um, real quick. Um, this flex fit assignment is a pretty straightforward assignment and it's called a flex fit assignment because it is very flexible. It is theirs. It's asynchronous. So we're giving them the guidance in the beginning of the week and it's their job to go ahead and get this done. Now, their, their homework this week was to find a safe spot in their home, maybe outside in their yard, you know, maybe on the roof deck. I mean, who knows where? You know, if you have an apartment, you know, pick an area that's quiet, not an area where, you know, because this is going to be, you know, something that they're going to do, someplace they can work out, you know, if they don't have anything like a practice, they can use their practice for this time. If let's say they go out and they have soccer practice or say they like to surf and, you know, after they're done with their school, they're like, look, my, my parents come home, they're going to bring me someplace. I got, I got an opportunity to do one thing and I got dance class. Can I, how do I do it? You can use all of that for this. If you've signed up for a pep class, you can use it to fulfill this assignment. We just want to make sure they're getting that 30 minutes of exercise. And those instructions for this flexible assignment are ex in exactly the same spot that you saw Miss Walker do for the running assignment. It's in your FlexFit assignment folder on resources. And you should know how to get there. You can see it from your parent account as well. Now, let's move on. Now, keep in mind, we're doing a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or, uh, periods one, three, five right here. Now, Wednesdays, this is a fitness day like they were used to. We are actually going to be, I mean, imagine this, live from the Revere Rider Dome. It's fitness day. The fitness day, we're gonna be teaching in the gym. The kids, obviously they won't be in the gym. They will be in their living room, in your living room, in their room, in their yard, up on, up on a deck. Who knows where they're, they're going? but that's where they are gonna do this fitness day. And we've taken all the thought out of it for them. They don't have to figure out what they're gonna do. All they have to do is they have to show up and have their camera on and we are gonna be working out. That's right, you're gonna see Mr. Kirby doing some planks, following it with his mobile device, going up to the next station. The music will be playing. One minute on the music. Soon as it stops, take a break, take a breather. Let's move to the next station. All right, Mr. Kirby, what is it? It's gonna be wall sits. All right, guys, wall sits, let's do it. Find a clean wall, let's go. We got one minute. And then this is where I talk. I have a, like a German accent that I do and I say, that, that is no pain, that is no gain. 
and I say this to the kids and sometimes they laugh, but I don't know, maybe you're laughing, maybe you're not, but that's what we do. And then the music stops and they continue. They go through 10 to 12 of these exercises. And then we usually finish with a sunset run, which is a run that is designed. It's really actually 430 meters. I know because I've measured it like a ton of times, but they're not going to get that. So we're going to do some kind of cool down activity for these guys. It's going to be some kind of yoga stretch. It's going to be maybe a stretching and we're going to talk to them. And while we're talking to them, we're going to be giving them knowledge about their body. What's going on? What just happened? Did you burn calories? How does that process work? And then they're going to be quizzed on it on Friday. That's right. This quiz, if they were paying attention, if they were there and they didn't stay for only two minutes and left, you're going to see they did well in their sit. So if you're going to look at anything, look at their quiz, look at this quiz, see how many they got wrong on the quiz. If they didn't do well on the quiz, probably it's because they weren't paying attention. Okay. Now, Another flex fit assignment. So you can see synchronous, synchronous, asynchronous, asynchronous. Okay. And then Friday, you guys all know, I mean, this was hot off the press today. I mean, maybe you knew it. I, I, I'm going to not lie to you guys. I kind of didn't really know it, but I do now that we are supposed to definitely meet with our classes Monday. I mean, Monday, Wednesday, Friday period, or Monday and Wednesday classes, one, three, and five, We'll meet tomorrow on Friday. And then the next week, periods two, four, and six meet on Friday. So it's not every week they have to meet on Friday. It's every other week. And I know you're thinking to yourself, like, what? Wait, what? Who designed that? Like, wait, what? So it's because they need a certain number of minutes. The district and the state want them synchronously discussing things with their teachers for a certain number of minutes. And we're trying to comply with that and give the kids structure at the same time. Anybody else have anything to say? So I just don't keep talking and talking. Uh, but well, I did see like a couple um, parents. What are the questions? A couple parents mentioned, one was asked like, if you have a sixth grader and an eighth grader, six, seven, and eight, it's all the same assignments, but their due dates may depend on what period they have. Cause you can see uh, with the matrix he has up there that one, three, five, two, four, six at different due dates. It's all the same stuff. Also, somebody mentioned um, there may be a teacher too that don't have this in their syllabus folder yet or in their um, parent folder, but by, by afternoon tomorrow, we'll make sure every teacher has it in there. We're trying to catch up a lot because we didn't have all this online content, you know, last year, we were so in person. And now we had to create all of this, um, you know, within the past days. So we're trying to get all that updated on the computer, but it will be by tomorrow afternoon. Yeah, and a lot, you know, it's important to know also that, um, you know, this is, and we want this to be a collaborative effort. So if you, let's say you've been quarantining with, with other families that live in your neighborhood, and, you know, I've, I've had some kids reach out to me and said, you know, hey, Mr. Fox, and I, um, I've been running, there's this other girl, she doesn't really go to my school, but we run on Saturdays, so like, if I go for a run on a Saturday, could I use that for extra credit? And I'm like, absolutely, you could use it for ex extra credit. That's what this is all about. If you missed something, if you weren't available, or let's say maybe, maybe you didn't have your screen on and you were trying to get something by one of your teachers and the teacher kicked you out of the meeting, well, guess what? There's your chance to make it up. And there's going to be numerous assignments. If you go into the parent folder where Ms. Walker is sharing right now, I mean, this is a place where you can go and you can find all of these things. I mean, these are troubleshooting techniques, obviously, for the parent. But if we go into the extra credit folder, I don't think there's anything in there. But there is an extra credit folder where you can easily see where these assignments would be. There's um, also, here. for just so parents know, you can always look on the right, it says upcoming assignments for, um, you can kind of see what's coming up for your kids. But I just wanted to reiterate, you just, you go to materials right here on the left, and all of the information for the run log is on here, the flex fit video, somebody was asking about map my run, it, it's by Under Armour, because there are like different ones. But if you go through this, you can click on this, and it's a YouTube video on how to use it. So read the directions right here. What number one says that, that to download Matt My Run Under Armour. So we really try to go step by step and ta tackle everything that you may need to know. But I would say if if you know parents, you can continue to chat on there 
and ask questions, but I think probably a lot of people are tired, including myself and maybe this girl, I don't know, probably still gonna take yeah. me a long time later to then. And, and you know, guys, it is, this is, it's, it, these are tough times. And, you know, our, our, I was on the phone today with, um, you know, some of our, um, some of our parents, you know, some other parents of students. And I was also on the phone early, later this, earlier this evening with our booster club president. And, you know, she reminded me of something. It's important that, especially at the beginning of the school, we, we set a, a, a structure. And if you, if somebody tells me, hey, you, this race is going to end, you have to run over to there and then you get to stop. You got to give it, it's going to be tough for the next week or two, but stay strong, stay on your kids, check in with them, check in with their stuff. And then once they get a routine established, it will be easy sailing for you. It's right now, if you're not, if you're not able to, I know it's tough and everybody has things going on. I know, I believe me, I, I, I'm, I'm on your team. I am. And if you need help, reach out to us. You know, I, I want to help. I want to, we want to be there for you. But it's so important that you're on your kids right now and we get them off because in the next two weeks, they'll have the routine and it'll be clear sailing. We want to set them up for success this year. That's the goal. We want them to maybe learn some things. Like this doesn't have to be a time where we're just maintaining, you know, a weak maintain of what we had before. It doesn't have to be like that. It could be something that's dynamic. This could be something that is making them better. Like, you know, I, I mean, could you imagine saying, you know, if it weren't for that pandemic, I don't think we ever would have learned those things maybe. I mean, you know, that's the type of positive attitude that, you know, we're, we're trying to get to. And I know this has been hard on everybody and, you know, we're, we're here for you. We're on your team. We are on your team. We're here for you and we're here for your kids. So um, with that said, um, you know, I, I want to end the meeting on a positive note. And I know that we probably didn't get everyone's question. I know we, we didn't. But the structure of this schedule is something that you can easily go in and see. If you do not know how to get on Schoology, that is a problem. Because the difference between Schoology and the Passport is Schoology is for your kids. The LAUSD passport is for you. If you go to Schoology.com, you're going to get so frustrated. You might throw your mobile device or your uh, laptop. I'm not even sure what would happen because it will be a very frustrating experience. Go to LAUSD passport. If you type that in LAUSD parent passport, you'll be able to see and where to go. Hopefully you guys know that already. Um, and a lot of this stuff is available online. Shoot us a question. Talk to your teacher. If you're in an area where you, you don't feel comfortable sending your kid out alone, by all means, we're here for you. Email your teacher. We're going to take all that as a case-to-case -case basis, but your child is not going to fail PE because they can't, um, you know, submit the assignment the correct way. We're not doing that. We're, we're trying to accommodate and we're trying to get the kids exercising. So help us help your kids by talking to them and come up with a solution. Okay. I love it. I love it. And just a lot of people are asking, is this going to be posted on Schoology? And I, I believe it will be posted on Schoology, but it's also going to be posted on the Paul Revere website. Lori Vogel, our website tech person, is on top of it. Yep. She's amazing, by the way. If you've ever had a chance to go in and talk to Ms. Vogel, she is awesome. And she, I have to tell you something about Ms. Vogel. She not only is a phenomenal human being, but the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Her daughter, Jackie, um, you know, it's, you know, I think every parent's uh, dream, you know, you, you raise your kids and then you have them go on and she's super well adjusted and an amazing person first off, because that's most important. And then, you know, she got herself into Stanford and, you know, she is now doing amazing things and, you know, just, you know, like a dream, you know, I, I actually wanted to ask her how, some advice. So if you ever get a chance to talk to her, pick her brain. She's a wealth of knowledge without a doubt. And she doesn't just talk the talk. She, she's walked the walk. So um, she's been through and she's had, you know, her daughter's been through Revere. So, and her son as well. So um, anyway, enough said. Um, I feel like we discussed a lot and we, you know, we're, we're in 45 minutes. That was the, uh, the time clock and we're at 48 minutes. So Miss Walker, I did my job. I feel like. <laughs> 
<laughs> um, and if you have any other questions, please, we'll stick around for a little while answering some questions. Um, and guys, this is where you guys are really lucky. Here's why. We decided that um, we, we put together a little song for you guys, and we all have our parts. Uh, we'll be singing. It's a, kind of like a, a quartet, but I know we have like, you know, five, five people that are actually singing, and I'll be doing percussion on the thing. So guys, uh, panelists, are, are you ready? We're gonna start this. Uh, we're gonna start this up in a second. So. Clarkson, let's wrap this thing up, cowboy. Come on, oh, man. Sorry. <laughs> Just kidding. That would be pretty <laughs> funny, but none of us can sing. So let's do it. Um, question and answer. You know, I don't want to end it anybody mid question, but please, you know, if you want, email your teacher. I I looked down already at my email while this was going on, and emails are like piling in right now. I think I've, I'm up to like 60 emails, um, but. You know, hey, remind them about PEP again. Oh, yeah. So without a doubt, guys, uh, the after school program is a big hit because we have a lot of outdoor activities um, and the fitness pods, the teachers, the people that are teaching the fitness pods have our curriculum. We've written it all out and they have what we're doing in PE. So hopefully the two will be mirrored and the things that we're talking about in PE will overflow to after school, which is uh, really awesome. So, you know, the PEP program, you know, I'm, I'm kind of biased because I, I do help run it and I'm the cross country coach. Um, so, you know, it's a phenomenal program and we're out there with the kids. You know, we're not just telling you to sign up for something that we have no, uh, you know, nothing involved with. So anyway, thank you again, guys. Um, we appreciate your support. We're nothing without you, obviously. And we are here for you. Um, we're your dedicated servants. We are. And uh, we work tirelessly on your kids' behalf. To everyone else, thank you. Thanks, guys. We appreciate your time. Thanks for joining us. Bye, Bye everybody. Bye. Bye. Wow, some of these questions are awesome. Somebody's asking if cross country is still happening. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's a wait list though. Someone thinks uh, Amos is from Chicago. Well, it's been 13 years. Him and I started at the same time, and they, some people still confuse us for whatever it, reason. It, well, hey, it's funny because that happens with me and Fox, and he gets hit. <laughs> I'm the Chicago boy. I just put that in. You got that? How do you get on the wait list? Yeah. Got it. Okay. All right. Got a couple good ones. All right. All right. We'll get some good ones.
You know where the recorded uh you know where they're gonna post this? Probably on the school website. Hey. Yeah, I think that's what um Walker said. It'll be on the website and uh I don't know, Fox, are you putting it on Schoolsy or somebody putting it on Schoolsy? Can extra credit replace weekly assignments? No. Um, yeah, the, um, you know, it, the video, I, I'm not the owner of the account of the I webinar. You said school website. Yeah, school That's website. Good. So hopefully we can, uh, we can get that up. Um, yeah, there is a possibility there's an outside shot. I don't want to say that um, on the record, obviously, but there is an outside possibility that cross country could have a second session Tuesday, Thursday. I was talking to another couple of coaches. Um, and there's Are you talking to me? Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. I, I mean, I, I think so. Mello, for sure. She wants to do it. We get two people out there. We can have another 20. Yeah. Um, so that may be a possibility, but I also have a co coach twist from Pally High. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, they, uh, she's, and she was, you know, her kids are uh, here at Revere. So, oh, wow. Yeah, she's, I mean, she's amazing. She's, you know, I mean, second to none, without a doubt. I mean, I'm not saying she's better than me, but I'm saying <laughs> she's pretty close. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, so we can, we can check that out. Um, really, um, hey, I love you guys, and I just want to—I just want to say that because I feel like we don't say that enough to each other. <laughs> Thanks, D. Hey, uh, um, what's up with that pod? So, so should we should we make that pod? Um, yeah. Oh, wait, we definitely, quick, wait, hey, I'm sorry. When, when's the five k run? Five uh, k run is. Or oh, uh, where? 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 Well, it's virtual. Oh, that's right. Yeah, it's a virtual 5K. <laughs> That's right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I won't tell Fati Adeli that you asked that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Um, yeah, hey, um, what yeah. should we do? Oh, should we, uh, I was thinking something, too. We could, if parents wanted to, um, you know, buy a pod, buy a fitness, buy a fitness pod, you know, and they say, hey, we, you know, we would like it at this, at this location. It's a cool little quaint park. We got 10 kids. I mean, they would build their pod. They would essentially pick their day if we have availability. I, I think, it, yeah, I think that's great. I mean, that might be better, right? I mean, moms could dig up like eight people and then yes, they be out there hustling. So I think we don't have very many people on the hey, uh, roster right now. Do I need to um, stop the recording because I'm the one that started it? Uh, you know what? We're we'll stop the recording. Yeah, because it says recording on the bottom. Um, yeah, you know what? You can stop it if you want. That's fine. Um, so let's.